Well, it's been a pretty hectic day um, yesterday and also Sunday for me. That's the reason why there's not been very little, there's been, sorry, very little content on the website and also here on YouTube as well. Um, of course, we've got St Tropical Storm Emily that uh, made landfall in western Florida over the past 24 hours, bringing plenty of rainfall and gusty winds, the usual conditions that you would expect with a tropical system coming through, a fairly weak tropical system, but of course they can be uh, quite prolific rainmakers. Uh, looking at the overall US pattern, it looks as if we are going to um, maintain a fairly trophy look across the Midwest and the eastern half of the country through uh, really the first week of August, of course, it is the 1st of August today, uh, Tuesday the 1st of August, and we are going to continue to look more and more at the tropics, I think, as we go through this month. A lot of the kind of longer range models indicate that we are going to have an active Atlantic and, of course, with a ridge over the top, uh, really stretching from, say, the Pacific Northwest over to the Northeast, uh, somewhat of a kind of neutral to negative height field uh, further south. You really need to watch um, the Atlantic and the tropics with that type of setup in August here because that, that, that tends to act like a bit of a magnet for the for any, any tropical system coming in towards the United States. It doesn't get deflected off by any kind of big ridge over the southeastern half of the country. Uh, the door is uh, quite, quite literally left open for anything coming in. So there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, we could be wrong here, but there is certainly a lot of things indicating that we need to really watch this period now coming up over the next couple of months, uh, August through September and even into October for uh, the united states has simply got off too lightly i think in the last 10 years or so so this is off the gfs ensemble the 500 millibar geopotential and let's simply skip through the sequence you can see here high pressure built over the pacific northwest we've got a little bit of a subtle ridge over southern parts of ontario and quebec and then watch how the negative here really starts to kind of expand we get another reinforcing shot of trophiness coming in over the Great Lakes. And that is really going to cool things down across the, 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 a large swathe of the country, really, uh, through this uh, opening week of August here. And the, the, ridge, the ridge is really nowhere to be seen, apart from the Pacific Northwest, where we could challenge all-time records in the next few days, by the way, may I add. Uh, Seattle down to Portland and points in between. Um, but certainly, uh, the grand scheme of things, this weather pattern is rather chilly um, for the time of the year, of course. And really, uh, as we go right through into the middle part of August, it looks as if it's going to maintain that way. Now, notice here we do have a bit of a Bermuda high trying to build westwards into the east coast. That may bring some heat and humidity back to the eastern half of the country. Will it last, though? This summer so far has been very up and down, similar to here in the UK. You know, we've got some warm spells, we've got some cool and settled spells as well. And uh, I think that's uh, kind of mirrored on both sides of the Atlantic overall. Let's have a quick look at the two-meter temperature anomalies here. And you will uh, really notice here the standout of Chile compared to normal across a large swathe of the United States here. And then, of course, fiercely warmer than normal in the Pacific Northwest. So let's skip back here and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Certainly we could be talking about record cool days and nights with this trough coming through. Uh, we've got the first piece chilly across the southern plain states, the southeast and in the middle Atlantic region, heat across the west, and then we get this next trough reinforcing the chill over the eastern half of the country. Whether it's overdone or not remains to be seen, but certainly this is an impressive chilly open to August here for the midwestern half of the country and just look at these temperatures compared to normal in the pacific northwest interesting weather pattern tropics uh, probably a little bit later down the road here but certainly the us and the atlantic weather pattern favors a very active um hurricane season coming up that's it for today thanks for watching have a great tuesday afternoon bye for now